Hey guys, <sighs> welcome to another episode of the <sighs> Weave Club Backlog. <laughs> are, you, are you making fun of me? No, I'm making, f- I hate you. <laughs> yeah, of course he is Vindy. He's what the what? He, uh, he He's just a snake. He's, he's, a, he's a troll. <laughs> you know what snake and Sundari both start with? Please do if not you say, say S. S. I'm gonna fucking stab you. <laughs> Please do not say S. <laughs> I swear to God. I would say it. I would you say can tell Vindy's tired. Well, you know what? Sundere starts with the well, T. And here's say, the no, T, sis. To say, Today we are to talking say. about Monthly Girls Nozaki kun. Do you know what sound Sundere <laughs> and Snake start with? But I forgot the word sound. So we're talking Which also about, starts with an S. So we're talking about Monthly Girls wow. Nozaki kun, You're guys. You're really blowing my mind right now, Crash. Um, Did you know that? Yeah, I'm going to talk over these two because they're just. <laughs> They're, they're talking about something stupid. They just talk about what's what we're watching next time uh, because next the patrons time, voted. We are boys. It is time. The prophecy has arrived. It is time for nothing but Kino. It is time for Cross Motherfucking Edge. Let's go. Let's go. That is the most energy I have seen. What the what it ever is time. have? I think. It is fucking time. <laughs> he he's like what? a vampire. He what? sucked all of Vindy, Vindy's energy, so what? Vindy's just dead. Listen, and what listen. is fucking losing you know, his mind? By the time this episode has been recorded, too much trying to free him from Crashdorf's basement. <laughs> by the time this episode has been recorded, Crashdorf has seen at least one episode, and he has agreed that it was amazing. You know what, Vindy? You know how you sound right now? That's how I sounded when I was watching Monthly Girls and Ozaki Kun. Fellas, viewers, did you, would you believe it? This entire time we've been doing the Weave Club, we kept saying, Doga Kobo has made nothing but good shit. The lowest I've ever had anything they've made is like a six. Well. <laughs> nah, I, I would say the lowest I still have anything they've made is a six. Well, that's unfortunate think, for me. I don't think I could sit here and say like, oh, Nozaki Kun is bad. Like, it's a little boring. It's a little plain. Well, it's not there, more. It's a little more than a little boring. It's kind of uh, there, just I mean, boring. I'd say like like I my second. I, I it's yeah. It is my least favorite Dokakoba show, but it's still a five for me. So yeah, like I still think that like like here's the thing, right? Even and it's also 2014, right? It was a different time. This was what pre GamerGate, so the world was a different place. <laughs> I don't. Um, that the. You, what? <laughs> I don't know. You are so you you are a menace. You are just you're the enemy Spider-Man. today. I'm not that cool. Um no, look, like I think that like if your be- if your worst show is the the worst thing it does is be bland, then like, oh no. It's so sad. Oh, what a terrible studio. God. No, see, listen. You know, my name is a God, I gotta think of a synonym for sleepy real quick. Hold on. I gotta think about this. Drowsy. I can't just You could just think a of the drowsy. seven dwarves. You could just think you could just think of the seven dwarves. The sleepy one is named fucking Oh wait, no, he might be. You are sleepy. I thought it was drowsy, but you know what? I give up. That's you the Pokemon what? Vindy. His name was like I don't even fucking know, because I don't fucking that's like the worst Disney film, but like <laughs> No it's not. <laughs> It's boring to sin. I didn't like it. It's funny that what the what thinks that well, you know, Song of the South. At least it's better than Snow White. But it, but that movie's based. <laughs> I mean, Snow exactly. White's better than fucking Sleeping Beauty. No, are you serious? At least like I kind of like was kind of awake during Sleeping Beauty. But Snow White has fucking dopey, and he's funny. Y'all are dopey. Anyway, <laughs> wow. Oh my god, he Why got our asses! Just because what's short doesn't mean he's a dwarf, Craftsword. 
<laughs> just because <laughs> just because Vindy says I like the movie where the where the white girl enslaves a bunch of midgets. Let's go. You know. Okay, but anyway, My queen. see how we're already talking about anything other than the fucking show. Anyway, speaking of midgets, uh, what the, the, the hell main character? Kind of transition is that? The main character is small, and that's about like the only thing. The main that's character the only thing she's got needs to know, guys. Right. The you main know, character I mean, is a main character. Everybody clap. She... Well, like she's a straight man, but she's not that good. I would say that she was cute until a better girl came in, and then she stopped. Which was episode two. I would yeah. say she was the only girl on screen until the better girl came in. Like, she was on screen. I was like, you know, I kind of like her little ribbon thing she's got going on with her hair. She's blushing a lot. I'm okay with it. And then it very quickly turned into this, like, well, she's not that good. She like, And then... <laughs> it was just like the problem is right guys not only is there a cuter girl or not only are there two actually cuter girls there's also a, a guy that just is a better gr- cute girl than she is and like part of the point of the show is that he makes for a better cute girl than her so well you know maybe if this story was about him it would be like infinitely more interesting if this story was about mika shiba it would definitely be more interesting if this story was about any of these characters other than our two boring ass main leads (laughs) i would like like it way better yeah like how does the show be about manga but not actually do anything remotely like interesting with that like it's just like haha isn't it funny that uh reality isn't like fantasy since we're, like, in the non-spoiler section, we should probably tell these people, what is Monthly Girls and Ozaki-kun? Oh, yeah. oh, I thought you were going to say we should tell people who Best Girl is. Which is well, we uh, already know who well, it is. What, what, I'm if trying to think of, like, this sh- I mean, there, there, I guess there's some things to spoil, like some, but it's, like, whatever. Okay, listen, there's nothing. The listen. show ends, and there's no nothing that's happened. What do you mean there's something? Listen, there's nothing to spoil. Listen, other fe- than the fact that I listen Vindy, let me, let me tell you something. If you watch this show... And you think uh-huh. best girl is literally anybody other than the obvious pick. You have That's brain not problems. True. Hold on. Okay. I like Yuzuki. She's more taste. She's more my taste. I would be okay if someone watched it was like, you know what? Kasha no, no. is pretty cool. I like her. That's yeah, fair. See, that, that's, I'll give you that one. That, that, that's what I mean. I'll give, like, I'll give you yeah. that one. Whatever. That's what I mean. It's like, fine. If you're going to do that, shit. But if your best girl is If you is think like, Miko Shiba's best girl, I'll, I'll give you that one that, too. That's, that's I won't hang on a man k- for that. Kill you. If you but... think that the main girl of this story is the best girl, just just you watched episode one and then you stopped. <laughs> that's just the truth, homie. Or you just really like girls who blush. Or you just really like boring yourself to death, you know? Or you really like redheads. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm throwing the show under the bus. You but know? if you, you really liked like redheads, like you would like Miko Shiba more anyways. Yeah, exactly. Better. What if... What if your favorite Pokemon is Paris and you're like, yeah, Sakura. Oh my god, you did not just say that to me. Vindy. Now I can't Vindy. think about her without thinking about Paris. Vindy, what did you hear fuck? that? That's so funny. I laughed and kecked and XD'd a little bit when you <laughs> did, did that. Did you just say keck to me? <laughs> did you just say those words in my anime podcast? <laughs> <laughs> He couldn't take it. He couldn't take the keckles. <laughs> See, this is already more entertaining than actually watching the show, if I'm being honest. Okay. Um, Crafts Dwarf, do us the honor of explaining what this show is about. It should take you all of um, one minute. So the small girl uh, wants to fuck the big manga author who's, yeah. um, who she, he, uh, he draws um, shoujo manga under a lady pen name. But he's stupid, and that's the whole. And then there's a bunch of other characters who are also stupid, and there's a bunch of relationships that never happen because the point is comedy. And like, it, it's it's a show that is under the like, um, you know, it has the manga thing, it has the romance thing, but all it, it, the comedy is the only thing that matters. You're basically. slightly underselling like, like what the actual point is, but it's not like the the show does a good job well, of that anyway. So yeah. like, <laughs> you know, uh, I say I slightly like underselling so- because you're still kind of right. <laughs> Yeah, I think that, like, you know, a large part of, like, I don't know if I want to say, like, the point, because I don't think it, like, I think the problem is the show kind of, like, makes these observations, but doesn't really... No, 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 okay, um, so, I talked to Craftsdorf about this, and, like, as someone like me, who cries at everything, like, listen, 
Uh, I, I'm the guy who watched, um, when there's the checklist of all of the girly films you could ever watch, I was the one who checked off every single one and likes more than half of them. I am the one who cries at Kimi ni Toroke and Mori Monogatari and... And you're the one who game. pretends to be a girl when people ask you, and you're then you're like, "What?" This is a voice and actor, by the way. Again, yeah. I must preface that. Can't wait for this. the day what the what comes out. I was like, "Guys, I'm actually a girl." It's and so funny. Anyway, so anyway, what the what, what? is one hundred percent the one one of us who is most likely to be trans, but uh, unfortunately, no, I'm transphobic. Like that's not know? even like a joke or anything. It's just like, no, yeah, just I'm transphobic. Truth, yeah. You well, you can be tra- yeah, you can be trans. We're tra- trans. I'm trans. We exist. I'm transphobic. <laughs> we exist. Anyway, it keep going. Okay, it's like me and but listen. Folks. So like, this show is it's like it's not it was, um, what made me because I was giving it the benefit of the doubt by saying it was a shojo series because I was like if it's parodying shojo then it might as well, then it probably is a shojo series because you know no, it has to be it's coming from someone. Clearly some, not shojo. Are you dumb? No, 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 no. But listen. Did you not hear me say I was giving it the benefit of the doubt by assuming that? Well, uh, so anyway, um, why are you stupid? Vindy, I was giving it the benefit of the doubt. Okay, but that's just a dumb, I'm saying that like either way, that's like a dumb. Why? Because I want to respect the intelligence of the dumbass who wrote this and thought all these like tropes are real. That's a dumb assumption. You don't have to be something to be parodying it. You don't have to be. A shoujo fucking manga to be parodying no, Vindy, shoujo so, manga. No, so, Vindy, you're, What's like, not understanding you? the point of what I'm saying. You're, like, super not. Because, Maybe. like, I'm saying, I was assuming that if it was if it was a shoujo person, someone who knew about shoujo tropes, then it's slightly, like, maybe, like, okay, uh, they understand, the like, what shoujo series do. So when they're parodying it, okay, whatever. Okay. But then reading See, this shit... I understand you now. I don't know if you just miss... No, I don't know. Look, this is this was all like bullshit? before I had watched it, right? Because I was just assuming that, like, okay, if the point is like, haha, unga bunga, oh. it's funny shojo, blah 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 blah, blah then maybe so actually, them parroting it would be like, you know, maybe they know about it, right? So I'm um, okay. So I'm gonna assume that's what it is, and then I watch it, and as I'm watching it, it's so clearly written by somebody who's like only like looked at the cover of Kimi ni Todoke. Or like Except saw, like, this person's written two shoujo romance stories. Then how the fuck did they write something that's so, like, surface-level understanding of shoujo? They've written this one that went for ten volumes? Or nine volumes, I guess. It's a, no, Nozaki-kun's a shonen manga. And, no, I know. They've written two shoujo romance stories while doing Nozaki-kun. Well, oh, saying. while doing Nozaki. Okay, it's, the way you These said it. All, oh, you're posting it. Okay, I didn't started, see you post yeah, it. I just thought you said this one. one I'm like, oh, Nozaki-kun. The first started in 2003 and ended in 2007. The second one started in 2007. Then why is it such a shit parody of, like... Nozaki-kun started in 2011. Then why is it such a So sh- they'd already completed a shoujo romance by the time they started it. How many volumes was I, it? And how successful uh, was first it? First one was 10. Second one was uh, 40. Because I've literally never 29. heard of these two. Well, considering Orisama Teacher went on for tw- 29 volumes, uh, I'd imagine it was decently, you know, decently enjoyed by its audience. Well, let me let me see the mouse score, Vinny, because here's the thing. And when uh, I look at the mouse score, score are... listen, <laughs> here's the mouse. Teacher, when I look at Nisekoi's anime's mouse score, and it has a 7.8... I determined that set shows in the high seven range are at, are like either cult classics or generic garbage, and as you can see by Nozaki kun score, is the just, low eight oh, are, no, I see, are I see all what classics. Doing now. Okay, I see they're what all doing classics, now. and they're all appreciated by many people. And so, by doing math and using my kindergarten level brain, I have determined that eight point two is higher than eight. So that must mean what, what? that the general score for Nozaki Kun is slightly higher, and it's liked more generally than you. than no- Nizakoi's anime. I'm Couldn't sorry. Be me. Listen, you haven't watched the video yet. You haven't watched. It the took video. me a couple of seconds to. I'm just saying that, like, you're saying this person doesn't know anything about shoujo or romance. Well, because that's how it feels. Them. Because here's the thing, right? When okay, you when you watch Nozaki Kun, look at the fucking manga. I didn't while you were talking. When you watch Nozaki, because you never let me finish my fucking point, you dumb piece of shit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Finish your point. <laughs> finish your point. So anyway, I'm like watching. As Nozaki-kun, usual, the Weeb Club gets the most like, heated single, when it's a fucking every... like average cute girl show. <laughs> Well, it was fucking boring. We're trying to like. I think I feel like Vindy's just tired, and I'm also. I just never want to talk about this I'm, thing ever I'm again. I'm just super tired, so I have no patience for bullshit. 
So as what saying like, oh, this person doesn't know anything about. Well, no, you're movement. just you. You're like, like my. You're like my commenters reading true. fucking four words in my Hasbro Hotel video. I you're like you like one of my. You're like one of my commenters seeing my like seeing my fucking video. What? Look, you were objectively wrong. You can't just say, oh, he's not listening to me. Like, you Thank didn't you, actually look. You could have literally just looked up the author at any time in these last couple, like, weeks. Like, this week or so since we were. Well, let's watch Nozaki Kun. Okay. Like, but you and did Vindy it, like, did it. But listen, like, in five listen, seconds. You're not right listening now, to the point. And you kicked your you're, ass. You're, like, you're not listening to the point. Well, your point though. was wrong. Like, oh, this doesn't feel like a person who's. Uh, like, your point because is that it yeah, it's, it's not a like very interesting. Listen, because well, you keep interrupting. I don't care like, oh, your subjective. Is. Oh my god, my feelings were hurt. You're not listening, okay? Because what you I'm didn't saying listen is, when it you does not feel like it. Because at every single point, they try to parody something. It feels like someone who, like, when they were parodying Shonen, they're like, Oh my god, their transformation sequence is happening. It's going on for five minutes. Oh, this is so bad. Why do people do these in their stories? And I'm like, oh my god, you've watched Dragon Ball on like TV once. And that's what it feels like. Because every single time this motherfucker does like a single like shoujo trope, I'm like, my god, you've like watched one. <laughs> it's, 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 oh my god. I don't. I don't think, to be fair, I don't think that this series is saying that what shoujo manga does is bad like at no point does it like take the stance on in its parody that like what it's shoujo manga do are bad i think it's just taking the piss out of it like it's doing like a fucking really shit job because it's like doing the most surface I mean, level that's, that's taking the fine, piss out of all like, of it like right but that's fine. because no it's just, i'm just talking to craft store before about when we were after we watched the video because i was like i feel like when you watch something like one punch man that's also just stuck in fucking also to like take like when it is doing jokes that are taking the piss out of like shonen or show or like superhero tropes it's at least like kind of addressing it or like doing it in like a way that's not just funny funny look it, i do the kind of surface level thing and then I, I laugh a little bit right it's just yeah but what i'm saying is that like the 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 the, the example you were making was like painting it as if Nozaki Kun was painting what shoujo manga do in a bad light when it's very clearly not I was, doing that. I think it's just no. That's literally what you said, though. Like literally, I, what I, I said. I literally said critiquing. Point. Okay. Instead of making like making fun of the trope, so you're you're just not listening to any goddamn thing I'm saying. You're you even said it. You're just like you you're like you're tired and you're barely listening because every time I, I just, like say, you I never listen you never let me finish a goddamn thing I'm trying to say I didn't say I was yeah you're not you you're like not listen let me finish a goddamn thing I'm saying because so wait, every wait, single wait, point what you meant is that me. I'm the one who's not listening yeah <laughs> cuz I don't See, know cuz like you now, you're, now you're both just kind of fucking putting words in my mouth cuz like I'm saying like you put words in my mouth 5 seconds ago cuz I fucking go this cuz I go this you know when I'm reading this I'm giving this fucking the benefit of the doubt because it feels like because because like because it just really does not feel like they know anything and you're like well factually speaking they actually made it I was like okay but that still doesn't like, negate the fact the that when I'm looking time. at the thing it's just when I'm watching it I'm just wa like it's the most surface level jokes they could possibly make and it's not funny because it's just there's there's no fucking creativity to it when I'm reading One Punch Man and there's like a joke about a superhero trope or a shonen trope at least I'm like okay. That's kind of something. I, I even laugh a couple times, but never with this, because it's just the only joke it does is just, haha, look, uh, the, the, the people don't understand each other. Oh my god. Oh, oh, look, it's like a sh it's like in the shoujo, and I'm like, oh my god, no, f fucking fuck off. And so it's just, it's just that. And I'm, I'm like, because the entire crux of the entire story is just. The girl is too stupid to just say, I am in love with you. So she says, I'm your fan. And then dumbass Nozaki can go, Haha, you want my autograph? I give you autograph. And then like the entire story, she's like, I confessed to him, but he never said yes. And it's like, no, factually speaking, you never did. He didn't say shit. All you ever said was, I'm your fan. And it's just predicated on that. And like, I get, it's just, and then every single character is just doing funny funny misunderstanding but like now it's in but like it's it's like exaggerated because funny funny and i don't i didn't laugh i like i think i had a straight face the entire time like 
I did not even, like, crack a smile once. I was just, uh, We haven't even fucking... God. Uh, <laughs> especially, like, after reading, like... Okay. Um, after Especially after, like, finishing the fucking Onodera video, where, like... And, and just thinking about... Maybe... Because I might have, like... Because... I remember for, like, the longest time when this show did first come out, I only kept hearing that it was, like, it was, it was doing, like, it was, like, oh, it's really good, funny, it's making, it's making fun of the show, show fucking shoujo, or the rom-com stories, I'm, like, and see the characters are acting, like, but what if, like, if this really happened, then it wouldn't act, then they, this would, this is what would happen, because it's actually annoying, and I'm, like, every single one of these characters is just a trope, and... That's the joke, is that it's a trope. It's like what Komi-san is doing, except Komi-san kind of makes the point that all of their, like, personalities that are tropes are kind of things that they're supposed to get past. There's... What was the word that that guy used? It was like the show... Like, the story is intentionally never going anywhere because it's funny and therefore it's good. No, it's because it's intentional. Oh, you're right, intent. it's intentional. My bad. Whoopsies. I fucked up a little bit. Uh. Jesus fucking Christ. Do you have anything? Because I, like, aside from just uh, me shitting just, on it, I have nothing to say other than, like... Well, yeah, no, I'm just, like, waiting to for you to shut up so we can move on to spoilers after I say, and me and maybe Vindy say some other non-spoiler things, general things. Um, Because I just want to say, like... Uh, yeah, I don't, like, I did find a couple moments, like, amusing, I guess. I don't think I ever laughed out loud or anything, but, um, so it's officially less funny than cross Anch already. <laughs> um, but then, like, as a Dogakobo show, it also, like, is one of the, like, less visually good ones. Like, there's some good moments of animation, but generally, like, it doesn't even, like, like, Wadaten or Love Lab looks, like, Love Lab predates this show, but it still looks better. Um, and, you know, so... When was Umu- Umuru aired, like, in 2015, right? 2015 or 2016 or so. Okay, yeah. so that was, like, a year later. I love you, Maru. Why does Umaru look better than this show? <laughs> like, anyway, Vin, did you have any non-spoiler things to say? Uh, I feel like I didn't hate the show as much as y'all. Like, I found it, like, I think you said amusing. I think that's a fair word. Like, there were some moments where I was like, yeah, you know... That was kind of funny. Like, it wasn't like, ha, 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 out loud. But it was like, you know, okay, I'll give you that one. That was like a good setup and punchline for a joke. Um, especially, I think, the jokes surrounding Yuzuki and then mainly Mikoshiba were, like, my two favorite characters. Mm-hmm. Um, I, and I mean, like, I, I think that, like, I understand what the show is, like, trying to do with, like, the idea of, like, okay, well, he gets his idea from his, his, his female characters from the guys and the, the you know... The guy characters from the girls i think like there are some okay like setups for that like for example when um all the guys stayed over at his house and he was like trying to force them to do uh to do things that he could put into his his mm-hmm. shoujo manga by making him talk like do girl talk and shit i thought was pretty funny uh but i don't know it, it, it was like you know i never really like laughed out loud i was like the show definitely at times it was boring but i think that, like even like its best episode like for its best episodes I, w- I would say i was amused the whole time like i was like decently enjoying myself um yeah and that will kind of the follow-up song so that you pointed out is like yeah basically the the, the most interesting thing thing about the show is like how it yeah it, it pl- toys with you know gender you know expectations and stereotypes yeah, and, and like, how, like almost i think like it would have been more interesting sorry i didn't mean to cut you off but like i think like i had this thought like it would have been more interesting if they had gotten more into like the reason that maybe um girls connect with the girl characters is because that's what they want if that makes sense like they connect with female characters not because they are females as much as like you know they like like it could have done something like that right like we're like oh yeah well yeah if if you want to go that into that then yeah the show could have done a lot more because like yeah the setup and is like yeah these this author who takes you know unexpected things from the people around him and like just the fact that it's a male author under a female pen name who does shoujo manga that you know girls connect to 
like that in itself is kind of interesting and like yeah i think it could have done a lot more playing on these like if it if it wanted because that's the thing is it it really has no interest in exploring like the fact that the this these characters are artists or that like or exploring any of the it's it's a comedy like it's like what i think i compared it to asabi asabase for what where it's like both of those are shows that he didn't find funny but i think he does like nozaki kun because at least nozaki wasn't like loud you know, like Asabi and, and, you know, annoying where, like, we found well, Asabi really funny. There's also so, the advantage of the fact that I found it at le- found at least one girl kind of like, yeah, I would do. Mm-hmm. I, I think. You, okay. And every you would single do her, thing huh? I found mildly, like, whatever was because of her. Because, well, cause, uh, <laughs> so. Well, I, that's why I, when we talk about specific jokes and stuff, I want to get, yeah. we'll get into spoilers, but, um, I, but. Or, but yeah, that's my thing. Yeah, it's like the like yeah, I do think the gender stuff is interesting, but again, the show doesn't do anything with it. It's just it's just a yeah. comedy. It's it's I, just a comedy c- and not a particularly funny like like, like where you know again with Asabi, it's just a comedy, but we found it funny, so we liked it a lot. Um, but that didn't happen here. I, I so swear it's just there was, there's at least like a couple of things I've watched or read where like they did kind of toy with the gender things. If I'm just thinking of Boku Girl. Then that might be it. But I could have sworn there's like other series where it like explores the idea that like um, the character is like hiding under like a pen name of like a girl when he's really like a guy. Or well, I think like... it's more than just that. I think the idea of like because like it constantly. I think that like the most interesting idea with the show is the fact that like it always is like oh he understands what a girl is right or like who girls are. But but he's basing his main female character off of a dude. So I think that like there's a really interesting conversation it could have had there about like differences in gender and how like um it's it's interesting that girls connect with this character who's based off a guy right and, and like alternatively what girls like see in the guys in, in the in the series that they look for or like the the relationships that they enjoy are flipped from these relationships that are happening in his real life like gender wise I think there's like a really interesting specifically with the way that people connect with art. Um, and characters in that art, there's like a really interesting conversation that could have been done. Yeah, and a good perspective for that would have been Sakura Chio, but like she's like because she's a fan, she's someone who enjoys the manga, or like, or I think she did. Didn't, no, wait, no, she didn't know he, he, he was manga, but she liked it after the or did no, she, she like it, it always before? Liked it, or, she knew about it, yeah, and she liked did, it before the fact, and then like yeah, out. she she right, she didn't know he was the yeah, author. I thought it said but, that she went and read it after. Okay, oh, I, no, no, she had the she I, had she, the copies of the I manga think in she her had, house, maybe. Was it the copies of the manga or was it the magazine? She had she had that, but like I remember she magazine. called him she called him whatever sensei and was like, You may know sensei. Like she was like real she realized that she was actually a fan of him after finding the way, his manga. The way it came off to me was that she'd read the magazine and it was um it like the name was familiar, and so she flipped through the magazine, saw the series, and then read the series that night. Okay. For the next day. But I could be wrong. That's no, just I don't, she, yeah, like, see, I, I, it was, I don't it remember. Was, that's what it came It was to like, me. because I remember her, she was like talking about, I was wondering why at that point in the series, like this happened when I read okay. it. Because so she had read it before. It was just, you know. Was, but she didn't connect. Obviously, she yeah. didn't know Nozaki was the author until she that's, spoke to him and failed to confess. That's the thing, though, too, is that that's like probably one of the biggest like missed opportunities. I feel like. It's almost like there was like no interest in exploring that. As the fact that she's a fucking she she's also a fucking fan, right? And like yeah, because she spends this... the entire series as a straight man, like you know, just like wow, that's goofy, and I'm gonna you know, err, that's or it's just the... you know, reacting. It's so and not yeah. That's the thing, right? It's like there's a lot of these things where it's like these. It's like I think it's like episode two, or even if it's like haha, it's kind of normalized. But I saw the the manga and the magazine. And I'm like, what do you mean it's normalized? Like, what, how do you, if I found out, right, that one of my friends was fucking, was was like the actual tight Kubo, I would piss my fucking (laughs) pants. And they were a girl. All right. Listen, like, that's just, that's the thing, right? It's tight Kubo. And it's just kind of like, you know how there's the idea. (laughs) Shut up, Indy. It's like how you guys are saying like, oh, (laughs) a Nozaki kind of understands what girls want. But then like when you watch it the entire time. It's like he doesn't actually fucking get it because he has to watch right, other people. Right, because he doesn't get it. He just... No, no, that's what I'm saying is that, like, he doesn't understand what girls want. He just turns Miko Shiba into a girl. So what... Because it's not it's, he understands what girls want. It was that he is able to... Um, I think the way it's phrased is, like, connect with the... the with with um, a, a girl's heart, I think, is the way it's framed. 
which I think what could have been interesting in that is that he's not even connecting, but it's that a girl's heart is literally like Miko Shiba is just a high school girl or what high school girls connect with, if that makes sense. Right. I, I mean, um, it's just, I guess like, cause when you're watching it, right, you, it's kind of, it's like the fact that he's a manga, like a mangaka at all is weird to me because as we see throughout the series, there's like the only time he ever gets anything creative is just for making his friends act out as act out the fucking plots of his manga and shit. Cause like he has to have like, the, like literally everybody in his life tell him that, tell him what to do in order to make the thing work. And then he just kind of like, kind of like puts what, like whatever the result of that is out on paper. And it's, it's kind of weird to me. Cause speaking as like thinking about like m- most like, like about like different like manga or even different artists right they like they're at least able to like it, it's just weird to me that this well, guy I'd say is it's a manga. like it's like uh, yeah no i'd say it's a concession ma- unless maybe it gets explained I, I don't expect anything to get explored or explained from the manga but i just say like it's a concession for the comedy because like yeah the comedy is the point yeah, because because like, it's yeah. it's funnier to have nozaki like yeah like the episode where he brings the guys over and has them you know to make them do girl talk and he tries to you know because that's where a lot of the humor comes from you know even I, I didn't find it super funny but i still recognize that like this is the joke and so people like the show like these kind of jokes so it's like yeah they're they're you know Right, and, um, and I think that that's the thing is like there's on a certain level like obviously there's like okay well this isn't explained or doesn't really make sense but also it's like on the same level I think that like you just have to kind of like if you're not going to buy into the premise of the show then what's the point even watching the show you know well yeah and like yeah. the other like okay so I know this isn't a fair comparison right I mean like uh, because it's a sh- it's a shonen it's a shonen and it's also like I, cause I remember, I think I'm talking. Oh, I was thinking, cause there's other series that do it. I know that, like in Ka- Kaicho I made some. There is like they do kind of explore the idea of like the, like gender and the, stuff like that with, like w- like one of the characters that like he's like a tra- he's like a trap, but like he's he's super into like his feminine side, really wants to be recognized as like a girl or something like that. And there's a bunch of other like shoujo series that kind of do that, but I remember like in. And Yamato Kun, like the the whole like entire part, part portion of the show is spent like with characters like swapping bodies and shit and learning like and like exploring like like exploring that kind of aspect like putting these people in like different like and like different like in their in, and like in, and like different people's bodies and like and like their different genders and stuff. There's like a bunch of media out there that kind of like explores and even though sometimes it's used for like a gag, they also do something else with it. And I feel like it's beyond just the fact that this is like um like in concession for the premise it's also just like it doesn't really go beyond the premise except for the occasional point where like the you know the end game of the story is going to be finally chio finally ex- gets it into it because it's so obvious from the very beginning that the only reason he's not getting it is because she's not making it clear because he needs everything spelled out for him that's the kind of person he is he needs everything like in literal terms but then like you know, the end game of the story is obviously that she has to, like, say it instead of, like, skirting around it like a dumb bitch. But, like, you know, we're never going to get that because this, this four Kuma manga has been running for, like, since 2011? Yeah, nine years. Yeah. so Nine years in August. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. So it's just kind of, like, I don't find i i feel like it's just a collection of like missed opportunities and things that th- that's there but they're not doing anything with it and so like with asobi also base i can concede that i just didn't find it funny and that's just like that's the only re- i can't even really say like it's bad so much as it's just like it's just not fucking funny and it's not for me right <laughs> and that's the extent of everything i think about it this one i mean i i don't i could say like you, I, I could say the same for Nozaki because, like, the difference is that, yeah. like, with Asobi, like, me and Vindy liked it, so we weren't looking for, like, oh, what could this sh- show be doing? Because, like, you could say, oh, maybe Asobi could look at the whole, like, these grotesque yeah, girls about- in um this sort of in, this ladylike environment like you know like more a more extreme version of love live like that's something it could have done but again had no interest in doing because it's I mean, it, just a comedy we actually did yeah, talk about things to so be thematically because of the there's the uh the glasses girl 
and how it kind of in- introduced this idea of how she didn't like. Oh yeah, that's right. And, yes, you're. And yeah, didn't it, go anywhere with that. So we did talk about that. With, about so, that with the soap. Yeah, like that. I'm, you know, so basically, I'm, all I'm saying is that like Asabi and Nozaki are similar in that they're pure comedies that do have these other things that they could have explored but, but didn't. And, not to in their and comedy, I guess like and I, the I feel like, is, like yeah. this show none of us really found super funny, whereas the Sobe two of us found it. Pretty well, there's funny. also like the end. No, okay, we'll get to it in spoilers, but it's very clearly like not. J- I would argue that Nozaki is less pure comedy because there is a point that it's trying to build up to and eventually make. And why, like, I would argue that I, that's why I prefer something like Drox only manga days. <laughs> All right. So are we ready to move on to spoilers or did you have anything else to say generally, Vindy, or uh, I think we were good. It sounded like what do you think about the opening? I, don't really, I don't really care that much. What do you think about the opening? I, the opening is the best part of the show, and it's a seven, so... I skipped it every single time, so I would. It's fine. Well, I don't skip openings because I'm not a terrible person. I skip <laughs> openings if they're not good. I don't skip openings. I only skip them if, kept them if they're absolutely ac- actively like annoying to listen to. Because if, if I don't want to watch it, I'll just like go to Twitter or something for like yeah, a minute and a half and just listen to music. Right. It. But that's time I could be spending jacking off. Okay, well, shut Then and jack I... off during the opening, idiot. How? It's just a Do bunch of dudes. Just imagine all the things you can bend Chio over. Anyway. Um, Why? She's not even that good. <laughs> well, she's still small. You okay. Just, oh, what do you think my standard is? I see a small person and I go, yeah, yeah. that's Did hot. You you'd, re- you'd emotionally relate to that. What do you mean? I'm going to. What? What? <laughs> When is, did you get standards? This That's entire my time, you have never once had standards. Prove that shit to me. Okay, okay go go what fuck you, the I'm chicken. Gonna kill you. Anyway. I'm gonna kill you. I'm moving him from the. I'm disconnecting him. I can't fucking handle him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> fucking spoilers. That was spoilers now. That, I can't handle this shit anymore. That was definitely the best of the dot web comics for this batch that we haven't talked about yet. Because, uh, oh, but uh, the one where you're just like, ooh, chicken. Shows, anyway, um, that makes. I don't understand you two. You, I'm gonna kill you both. I'm gonna kill you both and kill myself. <laughs> He's mad, Vindy, because he wants to fuck the chicken and he I'm doesn't gonna... realize it yet. The... Oh, yeah, I only want to fuck one chicken and it's Blaziken, okay? So just calm the fuck yeah. down. And you I want to fuck the chicken. It's a very specific chicken. I... It's still a chicken. Yeah. A <laughs> specific chicken with specific it attributes. Matter. It does it's matter. Chicken. Oh my god. I wish that's why you think this. If yeah, yeah. I'm a furry, okay, can we talk about how Seo is the best thing about this I'm fucking show? No, if I'm a furry for wanting to fuck Lagosi, you're a furry for wanting to fuck Blaziken. Then the even, guy. Wait, hold on, hold on, stop real quick. Because if we, we if we're giving scaly the term to like people who are, like into reptilians or whatever, why don't we fucking give it to like people who are into birds? Feathery. Hey, anyway, what? you're a uh, fucking furry. I don't care. That scaly not, falls wow. under the furry generalization. Umbrella. Vindy said scaly all blacks falls, are the same. Uh, no, in blacks, furry is an umbrella, in the month of Black right? Lives Matter, right? right? That's fucking crazy. So scaly is anyway. Or furry so is an umbrella. Scaly is feathery. Let's talk about how Sarah was literally the only thing I enjoyed about umbrella. this show because she's so, annoying as fuck okay. and it's great. It's funny she's you say that because I well she's I talked about that I talked about this with you but she's literally also just what the what like especially when she's like just well not only being loud but also in the movie theater she was like laughing at inappropriate parts and then she passed the fuck out and I'm like it's literally what the what okay so the context behind that story is that like I was talking to Craftsdorf about like when I went to go watch it chapter two I would literally fucking guffaw the entire film every time someone fucking died or God, something fu- something you're happened. Such a I would bad laugh. Person. Did you know that? Me and my family, me and my little sister, would just laugh our asses off because it was so like, funny. Like you're a terrible person, Dad. You're a fucking cord. Well, you know who else was laughing during the violent parts, Vindy? Huh. Your favorite character in the show. <laughs> No, my favorite character is Miko Shiba, and don't oh, you? Oh, well, I thought it was well, the, your okay. favorite girl. Well, well okay. and anyway, Listen, the other man. half of the story is Listen, when we were at I Anime Expo. Watching watch, her let me finish. And the shit that she was doing, like saying like super blunt shit, or like you know during what? basketball, Crash just not even playing the game right, just throwing the ball at people. I want you to talk. I want you to finish your story. Okay. Um. Yeah. No. Uh. No, during Anime you. Expo, when we were watching Listen to the Bluebird, uh, he was falling asleep at parts, and I just nudged him and got it. So he's Seo, basically. And, uh, you know, just all I around. Believe, I can't believe, even though What the What got all of his clout from KyoAni, he secretly hates him. Well, he only made his KyoAni video. They didn't fuck, well, so it was it. worth it. I've, I, I've described <laughs> What as a shark because if he can, if he stops moving, he just dies. It was also like, I've been like running on like zero sleep during the entirety of Anime Expo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so only made still... your KyoAni video 
Yeah, for clout. You're benefiting off the strategy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm lethargic all the time, and I just do ramblings on my channel. Anyway, so... (laughs) Whoa! Anyway. You can't say that. So, uh, there's little things, right? The fact that she fucking, like, when she plays basketball, she doesn't even play it right. She just throws the ball at people's faces. And just does things unintentionally. And she, or she's intentionally voiced by me, Yuki Shiro. So she, as she's playing basketball, she's cackling like, like a mad woman, and it's great. No, but that, um, then I was just sitting there, and not to self insert on a female character, I was just sitting there, and I was like, this is all just shit I would probably do. And I was like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and then I loved when she's like, I'm so considerate while like fucking up everything, and like just casually, like in the episode she was introduced in. Um, like, Holy she's shit, no. just. Wait. So de- she's so stupid. Oh no, wait. Oh no. Oh no. Is your audio fucked up? No, 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 no. I just... There's too many connections. It's the only character I like is the fucking most annoying one on purpose. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> You're just like, you just like look over and there's a mirror and it's like, I'm the monster! You know what? I can't believe what the what is a girl. Real life imitates art as it always has. Man, you know what, Vinny? I bet you're real excited about that, you fucking weirdo degenerate. No, I just. Well, think see, it's no, funny. what? It, it's also really funny because now in one of those Twitter things where you, it's like, what four anime characters are literally you? Like, Seo has to be on there. Like, you can't I'm just not just put her anime, on there. But, you know, whatever. Well, yeah, no, you put multiple characters, and now Seo has, no, to, every, has every to be one of them. Oh my god, you're every so single funny. Every single square is now. Ha, 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 yeah, I am funny. Thank ha, you, Vinny. I am funny. Thank you. Ha, ha, I enjoy ha, that laugh. Ha, ha, so I'm going to disconnect Vinny so we can have an actual conversation to craft for. How are you doing? <laughs> Look, we will have an uh, actual conversation until bo- all of us are just gone. That's yeah. also true. <laughs> well, no. Uh, it's been established that unless just two of us, we have an actual conversation. But, like, uh, yeah. But no, yeah. Uh, her, he's, he's the, yeah, the best. <laughs> her entire plot line with the one guy who's, like, a bottom and, like, <laughs> it's just the entire time can do nothing but be a bottom. And she's, like, kind of super into it, right? She's like, like the fact that she like, she she like it's very like kind of clear that she does actually like him and shit. And it's it's like yeah, because she's actually- like after the movie there, she's like let's go to the fucking zoo, like and you know the, again like not with no delicacy or tact or anything that like you know no sparkles and bubbles here, but she does she's like, like come she's very clearly like treats him differently, right? Exactly, right. Um, and it's interesting because like, uh, because. Even in universe of the show, every single one who reads that part of the manga where it's like their characters are in there, everyone's like, "I really like this plot line. I really hope these characters get together eventually." It's like, "Wow, the characters in the show mirror how I feel about the show. I only care about these two going anywhere." <laughs> uh, Vindy, talk about Mikoshiba because yeah, please, um, I can. So we can talk about the like you know one of the only one of the other decent characters. Um, uh, he's really silly and I love him. I don't know. I mean like okay. Well, I he's involved like, in my uh, favorite moment of the show, which uh, let me post the screen cap because this one I had to pause. Like, I I don't think I still didn't laugh out loud, but I did have to pause just to like collect myself for a moment because uh, let me it's uh, uploading. Um, just because when he was posing for the uh, art, and then oh, there's yeah. just this one this one fucking degenerate. Who's like, oh, yeah. and everyone else is it's just Vindy. like, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I don't know. It's, I I oh. thought it was funny because she's just like, she's just so openly. Uh, God, yeah. Ever <laughs> since freaky. Who well, was it that said love... she was a Paris? Because now I just see a Paris. Yeah, it was. Well, it was. It was I funny probably. Um, but anyway. Um. Well, like I love the. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore the fact that Craftsdorf just said he uses iFunny at 300. Years <laughs> I don't. Old. I've never used iFunny. Um. Yeah, but I'm okay, just saying yeah, that someone okay. probably said it there first. Okay. Like, so I, the moment uh, the show came out. Uh, another joke I loved with Mikoshiba was like when they were looking for someone for the sword fighting, and they were like, uh, they were like, we need someone who's fucking. I don't know. It was some like whole bull big bullshit about like oh we need someone who can fight and can be strong and work work hard and they're like we don't know anyone like that and it'd be hard to find someone with such short notice like, okay well then we need someone who's stupid easily tricked and will will do their job and he just turns back and all three of them are holding on to mikashiba <laughs> and then they they trick him by being like oh my god you'd be so good at this he's like really now god he's such wait a wait that will work on me and then they're like no 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 you're so talented he's like you know what i got it boys and just does it. He's so funny. I love him. Okay, Craftsworth. Hey, Craftsworth, come here. 
I also love his joke where he like he'll say something and then get super embarrassed about it. Like around like there's um there's the one part where he's like around all these girls, he's like, I got it. And then he has to text someone to get him out of there because he's fucking so nervous and scared being around girls. I fucking love it. He's so funny. Hey, Crash Dwarf. Yeah, what? Uh, you think Vindy sympathizes with Mikoshiba because of, you know. You know he's, he's well, do you guy. sympathize with Seo? Kind of, yeah. A lot, <laughs> well, actually. Yeah, like... I don't know. Uh, when I think look at Mikoshiba, I don't think, wow, it's literally Vindy. So, you know, that's up well, in the air. Maybe if you like, maybe if you had rat ears or something, you know, maybe. <laughs> what does that mean? Are you stupid? <laughs> you know what, Vindy? I'm gullible, but I don't get tricked by flattery. I just get tricked by anyone telling me anything. Well, <laughs> That's a difference. Damn. Can't you know why Sakura is the wor- like Chio is the worst girl because she didn't fucking like chat out and put on that uh, sailor uniform for for Nozaki. Like, no, you know why she's the worst part. Is because in this image of this that crafter posted, she's lit- she's literally only the second hottest girl in this image for some reason. Like- no, it's the <laughs> fact that at the end, at the end of the goddamn series, this bitch had the chance to just end the series and have the show have some kind of conclusion to it, <laughs> and she didn't because she sucked. But it's funny because it's inverted your expectations. Ha ha ha! I get the ha, point. Ha, I get that it's the point, right? <laughs> But it's like, okay, well, that's it's what still I'm talking not about. funny. So, yeah, it's so obvious from that episode that the point, the end game that this story is going to reach is that all the characters are going to go beyond like their little because every single character is misunderstanding. They're going to go plus ultra. Yeah, they're going to go plus ultra because if My Hero Academia is far more entertaining than this shit. So anyway, uh, so like. We got characters like Seo and the bottom <laughs> who like the bottom just refuses to just say what he actually feels about Seo and does not want to, you know, it thinks that Lorelei is somebody else when in reality it's actually Seo. Ha ha, funny misunderstanding. And the point of the misunderstanding is that the characters are not even trying to say their real feelings about anything. They're just like going off of assumptions. Just but... like in shoujo manga. Except in shoujo manga it's actually fucking like there's, uh-huh. there's other things beyond like funny, they're like funny tropes, right? You can't right? something about the likes of her. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I'm literally just fucking with you. You never, you know, well, you know. Don't say I've never read a shoujo manga because I have, bitch. Re- name one. Lovely complex. You, you've read a okay. well, Give me another one. I didn't say I've read a book. <laughs> you've read a one. Yeah, I've been I said I've, I've read, read shoujo manga. I've read, read shoujo manga. I read shoujo manga. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I was making a joke to piss you off. Yeah, I I mean, Why are you so defensive? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Anyway. He's, he's, he, look, the guy who made, like, look, Vindy, he'll, he'll actually unironically say that video is one of the worst on YouTube when there wasn't even anything racist in it or well, wasn't it was about one, like, how talent beat hard work. That's or, one sentence away from it. At any point he could have, but he just did it. At any point he could have. No, listen. When I was watching that, I was thinking about, I was like, at any point he probably could. All he has to do is say that the Japanese just do this shit all the time. And I, and you know what? Expect yeah, it actually, of him. you're right. I, <laughs> see, when we were watching it, I was like, I was thinking about it after we watched it. I was like, you know, this man is one second away from just saying the Japanese are all just like this. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's all it takes. It's all it fucking takes. God. You're a racist. Why is a sleepy insomniac incapable of making anything good? So... <laughs> Why do you have to just do that? Well, anyway, so uh, Monthly Girls of Zaku-kun is a series where the entire point is that, like, they have to, uh, you know, uh, they just have to say their feelings out for real. But instead of, like, any att- like any points where they kind of, like, build upon that, we get it in the beginning and then we get it in the end because the entire rest of the series is just filled with the misunderstandings being the point of jokes. Instead of just, like, anything in the middle. There's, like, some kind of... But, like, it's always at the expense of a punchline. The only time it's not a punchline is, like, at the end of the series where it's treated as, like, a kind of, like, half funny, half sweet kind of moment thing. Where it's like, ha this is what our life is now. <laughs> See you in the next season or in the before Koba manga. <laughs> and... Uh, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> cry, cry about it 
it's so fucking boring <laughs> i don't understand because like this show i remember yeah, every oh, okay. everybody wa- my, when this show came out everybody was talking about i was like oh everybody's got to watch ozaki Kun. oh it's fucking oh it's so good it's like one of the best rom-com series ever because it's not like the every other rom-com it's actually treating the rom-com things like jokes so therefore it's better than the rest and i was like Wanting to shoot my... Because I was like, I heard Rap about Storch, that. Do you ever feel like when What The What says a s- sentence like that, it's always like only one person said that no. and it just made him so mad that he repeated the it The man definitely has like a huge like chip on his years. shoulder about this. Like if, 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 like he had, like, what's Nozaki-kun? Oh, this no, is no, no, pretty no, boring. It was the same thing like, the other day in the Weave Club where it was like, people say all the time that Bleach should have ended its whole I said I've heard about that shit. One guy, probably, yeah. It was not know. one guy, I've heard that. He does that. that shit all the time, where it's like, he'll hear something from, like, five people, he repeats it to himself, and he gets so upset that everyone's saying it. Oh, my God. It's probably also why Bleach was going, which is, would have been a completely different time for the series and, like, the discourse Wow, when I heard this shit when Nozaki Kung first came out. <laughs> Well, right, so what's the modern opinion on it? I don't know, because no one's talked about it since the sign from it's a Because it's a forgotten, no one yet. cares, and you're really mad about six-year-old opinions. What? You, you know are really mad opinion? about these old thoughts. Thoughts? Old thoughts? <laughs> Why are we talking about yeah. MILFs now? Oh, what? Okay, that, that, <laughs> took a, that took a pivot. I thought thoughts are thoughts, not... Okay. Uh... What are you saying? Are... <laughs> I don't want to do this episode anymore. I give up. I also this is didn't going look. Nowhere. It we've was said everything. Wow, going nowhere There's... just like the show. <laughs> yeah, we've said everything that possibly is worth saying about this show. Anything more you think you could say? This episode is a nothing. shit show. Can we just say? Oh, I know. It's to your bring fault. up is it's uh... all your fault. <laughs> no, it's your fault because every time you I start talking, you just fucking interrupt me and just start getting earth. mad for like no fucking reason. Like I don't understand. Tilted it's so off the face of the earth because I said, "Hey, this guy has made two shows." No, because you interrupted me in the middle of my point because you hurt you like every other commenter that I've ever had that read four words of the title. It was like, "Oh, we did this show's words. fucking effective on purpose. Why would you say this in the video that I didn't fucking watch?" So, like, you heard me say, like, you didn't even hear me say right. feels you know like it. You just heard me say it's not a shoujo, it shoujo manga. And then you're like, oh, you're stupid. Like, literally, if you were, listen back to this episode, Vindy. Literally, if you listen back to this episode, Vindy. Literally, if you listen back to this entire episode, Vindy. You kept interrupting me at five words of the point, And you wouldn't even let me continue because you just kept interrupting me. That's what you did in the Shabu episode. This is called payback. You didn't even speak up. You said one word and no one else heard you. I didn't hear you. Kraus didn't hear you. That's why we like didn't even address it. I literally it. asked Vindy to say something and you interrupted him and he just gave up. So I, w- I literally listened back to the thing and he like said a word like in the middle of like a space and neither of us heard and we just kept continuing. I just finished That's editing it. That's not what it. is talking about though. What are you fucking what he's you're now you're not the one listening again i heard what the fuck i was Krauser i literally just edited me, the episode i edited that, the episode i remember this and you there just was a fucking... part where craftsdorf said hey vindy what do you think about this and i said like a sentence and then you interrupted me that's a craftsdorf was talking about not when i said a word we, we both pause. fucking talked at the same time me and craftsdorf there's like an entire stretch of time where me and craftsdorf just fucking like every time anything about chihaya food happened we would fucking squeal about it okay so is this the new Vindy going, this is the worst episode of the week? Yeah, it's just Vindy Austin doing that because he couldn't be I fucking fucked to listen I stand by everything I said this episode. This motherfucker okay, so just can't even listen to like the, a single the, word. See, it's like, this is like, like the pivot of Asobi because it's like, um, you're in my shoes now, basically. Where, but uh, Well, but that was Wadatin <laughs> that time. No, so well, we were all well, mad. Uh, Wadatin was the one where y'all two were fighting. Because yeah. what said well, the water, you said Waddington wasn't about anything, and the what got really upset. Yeah, because that was just factually wrong. Well, but, no. Yeah, just like what you no, said. No, because Vindy, I did not say anything about this man. Actually, factually, has never. You wrote a didn't shit say feels the first time you said it. That's the only reason I linked it. Okay. And wait, this, this, so I'm going what? to cut. This I stand out, by everything I've said. This episode. I if said that. If you listen wrong. back, I literally I said like, this feels like it. I never oh, said factually that, or conclusively that it is anymore. that. But this what, dumb motherfucker can't be bothered. Episode, and like what I said at first was like perfectly reasonable. And then you misrepresented what I said and I got mad. And then I started saying wrong no, but he things. Didn't, he, like, he edited so he didn't do anything wrong. He edited and he listened so he didn't do anything wrong. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. 
Yeah, right, let's move on to final thoughts. Yeah. Um, so this show uh, is a masterpiece. It's the best rom com of all time because it's different from all the rom coms. And what the what is the biggest thought? Yeah, I'm the biggest thought. I love this show. It's so good. I gave it a ten out of ten. Please watch it. Don't watch any other rom coms because this is the only rom com you ever need to watch. Crash Drove, what was your score? I gave it a five. Wait, why did you start? <laughs> you never start. Cause, cause he's lying. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Did you? Are you fucking kidding me right now, you dumb piece of shit? Oh my god, you are not listening to anything. I know not I ruined anymore. your shit joke. I'm point. sorry. You did like the most basic what the what joke that isn't. A and he couldn't board. even understand that. He was just fucking like, uh, I why sorry, you do your score up. first? Sorry, uh. this point, I just don't, I don't think it was anymore. funny. I know that's not the point to be funny. What the fuck? I know what I've known you for years now. If you I ever know think one point. of these jokes is supposed to be funny, that's not the fucking point. No, oh my god. I give up. Unfortunate. So it's a five? Wait, wait, I, yeah, it's just episode, mostly boring. It's mildly amusing. a lot of agreeable discussion in it. Anyway, Vindy, your turn. No discourse. Um, oh discourse we're gonna fucking talk about the definition of discourse no drip now, no sauce no, no discourse comedy, guys no. by the way viewers passion. did you know that according to vindy no who gaze. created the definitions discourse means nothing but an argument nothing else only an argument yeah sorry that uh connotation is a word that exists i didn't mean it all right i already gave my final well, thoughts like saying them again just like me i'm it's actually okay. wrong i said them i'm not saying them again i said them he said, um, you didn't even fucking get the score. like, EM. I said, um, I said my final score. I'm not saying it again. Say it. I already said it. Say it. He didn't I, say I'm it. not saying it. Say I already it. said it. Look, what? Vindy I, okay, gave it maybe, a 10 maybe, out of 10. Maybe you're less of a shark and more of a goldfish with that memory. Goddamn. Unfortunate. He gave it, like, at the beginning, but, like, he has No, to say I it literally again. said it. I literally said it in the last 30 seconds. I gave it yeah, Oh, yeah. I was talking over you because I was fucking making a meme. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> so I am I gotta say it again. Unfortunate. You stop picking cute girls shows. This is four out of ten. Is... It was fucking boring. All right, thanks guys for watching another episode. Nah, of I'm shit. fucking done. I'm going to bed. Leave. All right, goodbye. <laughs> I hate this. Next time we're watching Kino, I'm gonna kill myself.